Evening, Arthur. Hey, Arthur. Lenny, all good here? Yes? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Uh, is, um... Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A collar for you. Hello, Arthur. Mary? I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that. Arthur. Oh, okay. I... Uh, my family... I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart? Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please. Arthur, will you help me? I'm sorry, Mary. I like Jamie, but you and me, after all that's happened, you're gonna have to find someone else to run your errands. Okay, Arthur. 
I miss you. Yeah, I miss you too. It's all in the past now. Take care of yourself. Sure.
Lucy, Sean? No. I don't think so. Damn it. Where's Trelawney? Who knows? Just keep your eyes open. I am. Hey. Hey. <clears throat> Where is that little Irish bastard? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Has anyone been in the black water to see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Uh, well, we got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they want to trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skelding's boys are moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... We need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure, well, we'll rescue Sean and then we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. It's all right, boy. Yep. Follow me. Let's see if we can track down this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes. South of the river, West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. Down there. Reckon those might be our boys. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. We'll follow them. Nice and easy. Let's make sure it's him first before you go starting another war. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. But without me, you'll not find the caliber of victim that I find. Maybe. <laughs> Anyway, we should keep it down. Come on, let's keep them in sight. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Push up, come on. Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. Sure. All right. Let's take a closer look. Binoculars, gentlemen. It's 
So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skelton's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. Look out! <laughs> Gentlemen, I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Crouch down out of sight. Take out your knife. Stay here. Okay, let's move down. Don't cross until he's got their attention. Hold up, he's doing his thing. Gentlemen, gentlemen, excuse me, dear brothers, my wife is taken ill, gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. You she take the one on the left. Where is she? Okay, come on, stay low. I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose, if I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, mister. I, I, I can't, I can't, I, I'm having a fit. <laughs> Come on, let's get up there. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. As though that doesn't have life. We got two halfway up the canyon to deal with.
far. The camp's up this way. Come on. I'll take the left side, Charles. You go right, okay? I guess. These bastards. How much is Sean's found? Still time. doing hey someone cut this rope me head's killing me cut me down come on are you going to get me down from here Help me out here! Arthur! <laughs> you know, you're a lot less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. Do we get a hug, Arthur? 
A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <coughs> Have I got stories for you? Yeah. I can't wait. I imagine y'all missed me a lot. But fear not, the joy's back in your lives now. Sure. What? Our country. I'm working on a project. Photography. Yeah, I guess that bit. <laughs> of course. Wildlife. That's my thing. Well, that's what I want to be my thing. If I have to take another picture of a grumpy housefrau or pompous middle-class burger, I will feed myself to the lions. Stand here. Here? Just... There. Albert Mason. Arthur Morgan. Pleasure. I am trying to find and capture images of our great predators before our greatest predators kill them all and stick them on some clubhouse wall. Good luck with that. Yes. Not the easiest. But, well, I love a challenge. The trick is to leave a big load of meat and relax and pray they don't mistake me for lunch. Oh! Good heavens! My bag! That thing is robbing me! Go, oh, good heavens! Don't worry. That thing is a coyote. Sneaky one, too. Wildlife photographer. And Kyle, don't think about coming back. Well, well, you got. Oh, thank you, thank you, sir. Bag full of meat will tend to bring out the worst in the local population. You are a gentleman. The bag also had a lot of my supplies. You've saved me days. I can't thank you enough. I'm, I'm, thank you. Don't worry about it. I'm, uh, you take care, sir. <laughs> I ain't the one trying to get myself eaten. I realize I am a fool. <laughs> Forgive me. And thank you very much once again. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey, listen! I just wanted to say... I know you bastards missed me. <laughs> Even you, Arthur. Even you. Arthur! Oh, Arthur! Hey, you seem in a good mood. I am, son. I am. Let's have some fun. Tonight. Let's enjoy ourselves. Are we having a party? Maybe. Just a little one. Great. If I have to whip him, I will. Mr. McGuire is back. So come on. And don't you worry, Mr. Pearson, you drunk old shitbag. It'll be nothing but the, the finest game in the pot. Now, Deadeye McGuire is back. <laughs> and don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. I love you bastards. <laughs> have fun. Sorry there, Dutch. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you will. Yeah, yeah, come on. I just can't get rid of you, can I? Uh -oh, Mind if I join you for some trouble? I suppose. You're looking lonely yeah, as ever, if I may say so. White beach sitting by the fire. You can. Now, stop it. Imagine riding with him all the way from Blackwater to here. This is stupid. Oh, what now? Come on. How about a song? He'll be drinking In our time, they've discovered a wire you can talk down to speak to people you wanted to avoid so much you moved to a different town to escape them. Drunk with the rest of them. You know this one, don't you? Go join in. all night talking about what they were gonna do the second they left the army. Oh, all kinds of things like, oh, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna be a cook, or well, I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna find me a wife. <laughs> Hell, someone's like, <laughs> I'm gonna go and dance with the finest whore in San Francisco. <laughs> you know, some shit like that. You know how fellas is. Oh, well, no offense. But you know what every one of them did? The second they left the army? Join the goddamn army! Yeah. Jesus Christ! I mean, here is a group of fellas that spent every waking minute just screaming the leaving. And, and then they left. And then they jumped back in again. 
stupid. You know what? That, that taught me something. Very nice. Well, how about something a little more civil? And that's that most fellas are sheep. That's right. And, and if you can hold the between dance with me, there's a difference between a sheep and a sheep and a Family man now. Right. Mr. Morgan. Morgan. Reverend. And don't we know? Hello. Hello. What do you want? I'm not. I'm not quite sure. Oh. This keeps happening. Stop thinking you're angry and sad. Well, what you think of me? <laughs> sad in a good way, like a romantic poet. Well, that's <laughs> about all I can muster. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. <gasps> 